Welcome to my how to make a YouTube banner template tutorial video. So today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know when it comes to making a YouTube banner from scratch without Photoshop. So with that being said, make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Alright guys, so welcome to the video. My name is Sen from Imina HD and on this channel we specialize in YouTube tutorials and so many different guides when it comes to making money on the internet. So if that's something that you're interested in and want to stay tuned for, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now by clicking the red subscribe button. But with that being said, today's video is all about making a YouTube banner from scratch and you know it's so important to create a banner because your first impression on your YouTube channel is your YouTube banner itself. So if you can actually create a great first impression and make your channel look professional then you're more likely to grow a fan base and some authority in the future, right? So having a high quality channel banner that actually looks appealing is very important. So this is exactly what we're going to be going through in today's video. Alright, so the first step is to pretty much click the link down below to go on this page right here, which is pretty much YouTube's uh, guide for creating a channel art. So pretty much when it comes to this guide right here, it's important to actually create your banner with the appropriate sizing for your YouTube banner template, okay? So whatever software or tool you decide to use, and I'm going to be sharing you the exact tool I use when it comes to actually building YouTube banners and other graphics. Now I personally use a tool called Snapper and Snapper already has this feature built into the template so you don't actually have to download this if you're using Snapper but if you're using a different application then I'd highly recommend downloading this so you can actually use this template. You need to make sure that you actually have your banner within the appropriate dimensions right here which is 2560 times 1440 and this is going to make sure that your banner is seen and looks right for all devices including TV, mobile and desktop. So again the tool we're going to be using in today's tutorial is going to be Snapper and I like Snapper for all of the reasons and the main reason why is because it's normally such a chore to create banners inside of any other software for example Photoshop there's such a big learning curve and you have to pay so much just to even like use the software itself up front and what I like about Snapper is that it's free it really has the YouTube dimensions inside so you can actually for example if we go over here 2560 times 1440 so if we go back over here the dimensions are 2560 times 4040 so it already has like the pre-built template so you can actually start creating banners from scratch and it has the templates for pretty much any other social media site you can imagine so if you want to create like a Facebook cover it has the dimensions for that if you want to create a SoundCloud cover or a Twitter header it has the dimensions for that if you want to even create YouTube thumbnail inside of snapper for free it has the dimensions for that as well same for twitter post i mean it just makes life so much more easier but let's begin creating our first banner inside of snapper so there's two ways we can go about this we can create a snapper banner or like a youtube banner from scratch using this tool or we can use a template so i'm going to show you both different options so if we want to go over here and we click on YouTube channel art right here, we'll be taken to the page where we can actually choose either a template. So we have again like a bunch of templates we can like customize and use for our own YouTube banner. So for example, if I wanted to use, let's just say this template right here, I could customize the color, I could customize the text, I could customize like these icons right here on the banner and you know, make this banner completely mine and you know, make it look completely different to what it actually is but use that template you know, as like a starting point so you don't have to start from scratch and you can do this for any of the banners right here on screen right now but for the purpose of this video, I want to be showing you how you can create a banner purely from scratch and it's really easy as well and it's not like Photoshop where it's complex or anything like that. So let's go ahead and click on create from scratch by clicking this button right here. Alright, so as you can see on screen right now, this is pretty much the editor and it's very simple and I'll go through it in just a second. But to start off this tutorial right here, first of all, we need to actually address the template right here, which is going to be our guide for creating our banner. So this is pretty much YouTube's guide already built into the snapper editor. So what you need to keep in mind is that this uh, section right here with the white is pretty much going to be seen on all devices. So this guide is pretty much a guide to let you know which area is going to be seen on different devices. So obviously on the TV only area, this is where your banner is going to be seen on TV only. It's obviously going to be for the tablet and this is going to be for the max desktop safe area right here. So keep any consideration but if you want to put your main content and the main parts of your banner within this white space right here and you can always turn this on and off right here again just by clicking this button right here at the top so you can always turn that back on it's always nice to have that as a guide. If you go to the bottom right here you can you know adjust this so you can see if you want to zoom out or zoom in. Let's just go ahead and zoom out. Anyway with that out of the way what you first want to do inside of this tool is click on the 
background section right here and you want to add a background so and as you can see we have a variety of different images we can choose as a background for our banner right here so we can choose a bunch of different templates we can choose patterns and there we go so we can choose you know um, a variety of different like textures and backgrounds to really make our banner look really nice and professional we can even upload our own backgrounds right here if you have like a background that you really want to add to your youtube banner in particular we can add plain colors if you wanted to like have some sort of like spacey background you can search up the keyword space press enter and it will come up with a lot of different space backgrounds you can choose from so let's just say i wanted to choose just say i wanted to choose this background right here there you go you now have a earth background now if you want to actually remove this background and choose another one you can go ahead and click on remove or you can even reposition this what we want to do is click on remove to remove this background and we're going to go ahead and go over to patterns and we're going to choose I'm not sure, let's choose this blue one right here. I like blue, so let's just click on this one right here. Now, if we go ahead and click on effects, we can add a color overlay on top of the actual background itself. So let's just add a blue overlay to this background. So as you can see, if the opacity is set to 100, it's just gonna be a typical blue background, right? But if we set it to like, let's just say 60 or 50, the blue is gonna overlay the current background and we can always just make this zero so there's no effects added to it. We can change the color. So let's just say we wanna add uh, a yellow color to, on top of the background to you know make it like a greenish color right we can you know do the same thing we can adjust it we can you know just pretty much add like a color overlay to it so let's just go ahead and make that zero for now we can actually darken the photo uh, we can add some blur to it we can add some saturation to it to, to make the colors stand out obviously you don't want too much saturation because it looks really bad so it's up to you hue lets you change the colors pretty much which is pretty cool you can add some more brightness to it and you can make it darker of course and you can add some contrast to it as well so those are some of the effects you can add on top of your background so what i'll probably do is actually go back to the color and i'll make that blue so we'll make that the blue color and i'll set the opacity to about 80 because i wanted the background to be like a texture with the blue color so it has that you know nice combination to it and we can add some blur to it as well to make it look really nice so that's the um, effects done now what we want to do now is add some text to it and when adding text make sure this is on because if it's not on it's kind of going to be a bit hard to like navigate your text within the safe zone to make sure your banner is going to look good across all devices right what we can do right here is add a heading which is going to be in the middle part of your banner automatically which is pretty cool you can you know mess with the letter spacing or just leave it as it is you can mess with the line height as well we can you know put it on the side more to the right or to the left more we can obviously change the color which is important so we can make that blue which doesn't look too good with a blue background so let's just make that black for now we can also change the font right here to whatever font we may be more appealing to us so it's going to leave it as it is but there's a bunch of fonts we can choose from so it's really up to you which one you may want to actually implement into your banner so what i like to do is i like to have the header and i like to have some sort of like subheading below my main header so let's just go ahead and add that and we can you know put that down here bring these up a little bit so let's just go ahead and do that to make it look a little a little bit more in line let's put my channel name here so that's going to be imminent hd you can put in some sort of like statement right here which your channel is going to be about so let's just put in for myself home of now i want to actually make this a little bit smaller so let's go ahead and click on this right here there we go it looks a lot more better in my opinion so let's just bring this up a little bit there we go Eminent HD, home of the best tutorials. Since my channel is all about tutorials, we might go ahead and go over the graphics right here and choose an icon. So I already chose in computer. So let's just click on one of these computer icons. And what we can do is readjust this. So let's just go ahead and make this smaller. And we can actually put this image literally next to the headline and the sub headline to make it look really nice. So, and there you go, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. All right, so as you can see on screen right now, I've changed the color from black to white because I think the white looks a bit more better with the blue color. That's just my opinion, it may not, I'm not really sure, but I wanted to make that white, I guess. So again, to do that, all you have to do is just click on your text right here and go over here to choose the color. So you can make a green, pink, purple, let's just make a white for this and maybe you want to make your banner really really fancy so this banner right here looks really professional and clean but maybe you want to add like multiple different colors to your background so what you can do is go over to shapes right here you can click on either one of these shapes right here so let's click on the rectangle shape right here and we can make this a bit smaller and what we can do is literally just put this behind the text right here so if we put that underneath the layer we can go ahead and do that and make it put it behind the text of Imina HD. And what we can do is go back to shapes and we can add one of these. As you can see, we're just making it in line so it's under the subheader. Let's make that white. And there you go, guys. We made our banner a little bit more fancier, so to speak, right? Okay, and there you go. So this is what your banner's gonna look like 
on all devices and as you can see this is where your banner is going to be showing on TV, it's where it's going to be showing on your tablet and on a Mac's desktop safe area right here. So that's pretty much your banner. Now if you want to go ahead and actually download this or simply click this button right here and click on download and you want to either download the image as a JPEG file or a PNG. Now PNG tends to be high quality so let's just go ahead and click on that. And there you go, it's downloaded the banner. So let's click on that and we have a PNG file, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and upload this banner to our YouTube channel. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the YouTube channel that we're gonna be uploading the banner on. So this is actually a spare channel that I use for videos. So let's go ahead and click on this icon right here. And all you wanna do is just simply click on add channel art and then you can upload your own channel art to YouTube right now. So you can either actually select a photo from your computer or if you already have a tab open, you can just drag your file onto this platform right here and you'll upload your banner to YouTube. So as you can see, the banner that we created together is actually uploading. And there you go, you can see what it looks like on phone, you can see what it looks like on TV, and you can see what it looks like on desktop. And as you can see, it looks pretty clean. It fits in very nicely. So let's click on select. And there you go, guys, we just uploaded the banner that we created together. So it's that easy. It's like, that looks very good and I'm happy with the results. So there you go, guys. We just created the banner together and we just uploaded it onto YouTube and it's officially live. So, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did find value in this video, make sure to subscribe for much more tutorials on YouTube and leave a like down below as well. That'll be much appreciated. And comment down your thoughts and let me know what other videos you'd like me to make. In fact, tomorrow's video is actually going to be a video teaching you how to make a YouTube intro for your YouTube channel as well. So if you want to actually make a YouTube intro for your very own channel, then definitely look out for that. By the you're watching this video the video will probably be out anyway so check that out and i'll leave a end screen to that as well but yeah with that being said thanks for watching today's video and yeah peace